Today we pick up our Bible study in Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In Revelation 2, verses 1 through 3 are the words of instruction that Jesus has given to John to send to the church at Ephesus. He commends them for being patient and for being against those who are evil and for not simply listening to everyone who claims to be an apostle, but that they have tested and found out those who are false teachers. Jesus commends the church at Ephesus for persevering with patience for his sake and for remaining strong. But Jesus also notes in Revelation chapter 2, verses 4 through 5, quoting from the New King James Version, Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. Apparently, the church at Ephesus had grown so strong in searching out the false teachers that they had misplaced sharing the love of Christ with one another. This would be a necessity for them to regain. Jesus then circles back to an ending word of encouragement as he states in Revelation chapter 2, verse 6, But this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. The Nicolaitans were involving themselves in sexual impurity or sexual immorality as if it were okay to do so as they mix the religions of the secular community with Christianity. That was hated by the Lord, as we see in Revelation chapter 2, verse 6. In Revelation chapter 2, verse 7 is an announcement for everyone to hear these words and to apply them in their lives as constructive criticism to lead to repentance, not only for the lost souls of society, but for the Christian who has strayed from the pathway of God's will for their lives, as we all do from time to time. Jesus teaches that if we will humble ourselves to his guidance, to him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God, as we see in Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. This is an example of how easy it is to grow complacent and forget our main focus, sharing the love of Jesus with others. We too have issues becoming sidetracked with a particular issue or blessing and then forgetting the main focus of the church which is sharing the message of the gospel, the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as we learn in John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. It is he who first loved us and gave his life for us so that we may have forgiveness of sins and a renewed life in Christ, as we learn in Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. Dear Lord, Please help us to not be blinded by our own tediousness that causes us to lose our focus on the main point you have given us all in Christ, and that is to share the love that you have shared with us, with others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.